we want to solve the given equations. Notice how we have four examples of solving what we call multi-step equations because it takes more than two steps to solve the equation. We'll solve the first two equations in this video and we'll solve these last two equations in the next video. The general guidelines for solving a multi-step equations are outlined here. Step one is optional. If the equation contains fractions or decimals, we can clear those by multiplying. Notice here our equation does not contain fractions or decimals. Step two, we want to simplify each side of the equation by clearing the parentheses and combining like terms. This also does not apply because, because in our equation, we don't have parentheses and we don't have like terms on the left side or the right side of the equation. So we're now at step three where we add or subtract to isolate the variable term. And notice here we have variable terms on both sides of the equation. So to isolate the variable term, we need to have the variable terms on one side. So looking at the right side of the equation, notice how we have this negative d, which if it's helpful, we can think of this as negative one d. So to undo this negative one d, we'll add one d or add d to both sides of the equation. Notice now on the right side we have negative one d plus one d, which is zero. So now our equation is two d plus one d, that's three d, minus three equals negative thirty. We still have not isolated the variable term. The variable term is three d, so we don't want this minus three here. So to undo minus three, we'll perform the opposite operation. So we'll add three to both sides of the equation. Negative three plus three is zero. So now we have the equation three d is equal to negative thirty plus three, which equals negative twenty-seven. Now that we've isolated the variable term, we're on step four. We want to multiply or divide to isolate the variable. Three d means three times d. So to undo this multiplication and solve for d, we divide both sides by three. Notice on the right side we have three divided by three, which simplifies the one. One times d is d. On the right side we have negative twenty-seven divided by three, which equals negative nine. So this is the solution to our equation. So notice step five is to check the solution, which means if we substitute negative nine into the original equation, it should satisfy the equation, meaning the left side of the equation should equal the right side. And let's go ahead and take a moment and do that for this first equation. So if we substitute negative nine for d in our original equation, we'd have two times negative nine minus three equals negative d, which would be negative negative nine, or the opposite of negative nine minus thirty. Now we'll simplify each side using the order of operations. So we have two times negative nine, that's negative eighteen minus three. On the right side, the opposite of negative nine is positive nine minus thirty. So here we have negative eighteen minus three, that's negative twenty-one. On the right side we have nine minus thirty, which is also negative twenty-one. So this verifies that our solution is correct. Looking at the next equation, again step one and two don't apply. So step three, we want to add or subtract to isolate the variable term. Notice how we have variable terms on both sides of the equation. We want the variable terms on one side. So looking at the right side, notice how we have this positive six m. So to undo this term, we'll subtract six m on both sides of the equation. So notice six m minus six m is zero. So now we have negative four m minus six m, that's negative ten m minus five equals one hundred twenty-five. We're still not done with step three. We want to isolate the variable term, which is negative ten m. So we want to undo this minus five or perform the opposite operation. So now we'll add five to both sides of the equation. Negative five plus five is zero. So now we have negative ten m equals one hundred twenty-five plus five is one hundred thirty. Step four, we want to multiply or divide to isolate the variable. Negative ten m means negative ten times m. And therefore, to undo this multiplication and solve for m, we want to divide both sides by negative ten. Notice on the left, we have negative ten divided by negative ten, which is one. One times m is m. On the right side, we have one hundred thirty divided by negative ten, which equals negative thirteen. So going back to our first slide, 
the solution to the first equation is d equals negative nine. The solution to the second equation is m equals negative thirteen. And we'll solve these next two equations in the next video. I hope you found this helpful.